for my review. He can't do it again. What? Why not? He can reuse stuff. No, no, he did that for the Gypsy Danger reviews. It's too soon. Oh, okay. That's alright. Can we just laugh until the review starts? Yes! <laughs> Hello, collectors, it's Steven here with a review of the SH Figuarts Alien Balton. Revived from the Ultra Act prototype, this newly sculpted and re engineered figure is the first enemy in the SH Figuarts line for Ultraman. This fan favorite has been selling out everywhere on the Japanese import sites, and Bluefin may not be able to fulfill all pre orders in the United States. So, is this cackling alien worth the hype at nearly $60? Mmm, well, let's take a look to see whether or not it's worth adding into your collection. So Balton here is pretty nicely done, but it's not without its flaws. Those who are hoping to get a great looking Balton won't be upset, but it's not without its issues. The face head looks fine with translucent yellow eyes if you will, with the texture underneath like compound eyes, and the silver trim looks nicely done with a blue spray at the top of the head. One issue though is that, and we see this most prominently on the torso, the dark blue is fine, that would be the base coat, but the lighter blue spots look very digitized, similar to the Monster Arts Batra's wings. From a little distance away, it's not too notable, but up close, when you're handling it, you will see it. The back looks fine, nothing to really talk about there. Now, the claws. They look very nice, but you can see the pin that they're attached to rather plainly. This is for the hinge of the claws. The shading for the brown at the base of the claws looks really well done too, along with the silver, blends in nicely. Now, something owners of the Ultra Act Voltan will note is that the inside of the claws have detailing which looks accurate, but here, we literally have nothing. Just a bland peg. What? Anyway, moving down, the waist is nicely done with brown and blue spray on the uh, skirt area, and you'll see the stripes on the leg where the digitized printing shows up once again. Keep on moving down, the rest of the legs look nicely done, and the spray on the lower portion of the legs and feet is rather nicely applied, with only some small hiccups in the spray, like little bubbles. Overall, very nice looking figure. Articulation is pretty similar to the Ultra Act, however, we do have some differences which make this figure just even more so better. So what do we have? First up, the head is actually attached into the body on a ball joint for the neck joint here, as you can see. So you can move Balton's head forward and back like so, sort of twist it from side to side. I'll do this here, but I'm kind of afraid to do this. I'll do it for educational purposes. Yeah, that's a very, very long ball joint, as you can see. Do be careful because if you snap that, you're not going to be having too much fun with your figure after. So be careful when you're moving your Balton around. So this way you don't break it. Next up, we have the shoulder which plugs into the body on a ball joint, and we do have hinge housed in the actual shoulders, but as you can see here, the actual structure of the joint may make it hard for one arm to not raise up all the way, so you're going to have to finagle with it a little bit, and you'll get it. Next up, bicep swivels. Standard for action figures, as you can see here. We have double hinge elbows, though unfortunately no elbow swivel, or at least we do have one, but it's effectively not usable. Something to take note of, though, is that once you use the elbow joint, the claw may collide in with the bicep, and overall it may just be difficult to bend all the way, so you don't want to force, as you can see here. You're not getting a full range of movement out of the elbow joint, so don't force it or you might break it. The claws open and close on hinges, as you can see on both sides. Just one hinge, so that way I'm clear there. And also be sure to take note, these do not swivel around like the Ultra Acts do. So don't try to force that, you might break it. Next up, we have the waist and ab crunch, both featured on ball joints. So we get a lot more movement out of the figure arts than we do the Ultra Act, as you can see here. That's a great movement backwards. Pretty cool forward. So yeah, lots and lots of movement out of the torso of Balton here. Next up, we have the hips. Similar to the Figure Arts Ultraman in that we have swivel hinges, so they swivel forward and back, hinge movement outward, but what's really cool is the coat tails here, let's call them, on the Figure Arts are made of a soft plastic, not hard like on the Ultra Act, so you're going to be able to get some movement backwards, but not too much because, well... That's unfortunately just the design. So aside from that, we do have the hips which plug into the thighs on swivels, so you can spin the legs around like that. Pretty neat there. Then we have double hinge knees, so you can bend the legs a little bit more. 
We have what I believe are swivel hinges for the ankle rockers, because as you can see here, you can spin them around and such, which is pretty neat. But um, yeah, if you, yeah, as you can see here on the left one of mine, it doesn't line up too well. But we also have swivels at the actual ankle where the shins connect in. And that is the articulation for the Figuarts Balton. Overall, it's pretty good, a step up from the Ultra Act. However, there are a few engineering choices which aren't the best. Unfortunately, it does not come with any accessories. However, if you have the Ultra Act, the Krabby Blasts of Doom fit in the claws, but they're not a suitable fit. They don't actually click into anything. So if you're going to put them in, you're going to have to angle the claws correctly so they don't fall out. Really BS, it comes with nothing, but eh. And finally, a size comparison, and as you can see here, it fits in well with all sorts of figures, but it's roughly the same size as the Ultra Act, so this begs the question, is it out of scale with the SHF Ultraman, or is the UA out of scale with the Ultra Acts? Hmm. So, buy it now, skip it, or wait for a deal. Balton looks nice, and the articulation is pretty solid, definitely an improvement over the Ultra Act for sure, but no accessories really blows, but... That's usual these days. Overall, it's a great figure for what it is. If you can't hunt down a deal, it'll be hard to do. Once price is factored in, you might feel a bit underwhelmed. So the cheaper you can get it for, the better. Fans of the character will absolutely be pleased with this figure, but it's very hard to argue they didn't overcharge for this figure. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and be sure to like, subscribe, and drop a comment down below to share your thoughts. If you're interested in picking this figure up or others like it, check the description for some cool links to take you where you need to go. Why don't you watch some more videos? Click the annotations on the screen now for more great content. Thanks again, and I'll catch you in the next video.